Hello YouTube fam, welcome to Tekken Armory. I am Millie, and today we are going to talk about King's flurry of low kicks and how to counter them. First, we will show you what are King's different options while he is using these flurry of kicks. King will start the string with a low, then he can choose to either extend it as a low or end the string with a punch. If he chose low, he can choose again with the same options. If he extends it as a low again, he can extend it to a punch only. However, if he started with a counter hit, he can extend the third low kick into two more low kicks. Now, what can we do to counter these strings? Well, you simply need to defend. If you block the last low or punch, you can launch punish him. Let's see it in action. The blocked punch is minus 15 frames. The blocked kick is minus 26 frames. Use a while standing launcher. So the main question is, how can you defend against these strings if you got hit by the first low? After the low kick hit you and it is counter hit, you will be hit again by either a low kick or a mid punch. If you get hit by the mid punch, you will be flown away. If it is normal hit, you can start to defend on the second set. If it is counter hit, you can defend on the third set. Hold down back to defend against the low kick or hold back to defend against the punch. Now, of course, deciding if you will defend low or mid is easier said than done, right? In terms of risk mitigation, you should press down back right from the start if it is counter hit, you will automatically only start to defend low on the third set. If it is normal hit, you should be able to defend starting from the second set. During counter hit, it is very important to defend against the third low kick. Why? Because the damage that you will take in case you took the third low kick will be significantly greater, especially if the first kick was counter hit. If you got hit by the third low kick during counter hit, you cannot avoid the next two low kicks. And it gets worse. If you got hit by the fifth low kick, you will be at a true minus 15. It means that you will be vulnerable to a launcher. King will probably use his 15 frame while standing launcher on you if that happens. So reminding you again, do not get hit by the third low kick. Now that you blocked the second or third low kick, should you stand up to defend against the punch? Or should you stay down for the low kick? Well, in this case, you can react. It is not like earlier where you are standing and trying to react if the next is a low or a mid. In this case, you are crouching. You can react faster simply because defending the mid when you recognized it is simple as letting go of your stick or key to return to neutral stance. Letting go of a key should be faster than pressing it. Remember to react, not anticipate. If you've successfully blocked the third low, do not stand up unless there is a visual confirmation that he will use the punch. Otherwise, you will eat the fifth low kick and you know what happens next. But if you are having a bad day and don't want to react, you can just defend low for the least amount of damage. However, please remember also that the punch can wall splat you if your back is on the wall and it will also hurt it that happens. If you want to know more about Punishing King, check out this video here. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.